Hey, I'm Thorsten Hohmann, and I'm going to answer 10 questions for CSI. I've always admired Ralph Suquet the most because um, his professionalism. Um, he's been playing for so many years, and he's still so much in love with the game and uh, travels like no other player competing and um, that's why I admire him. That's a pretty easy uh, question. My favorite game is straight ball. Um, it's a game you can play by yourself and get totally into it and uh, I think it's the only game you can play for hours without missing a ball. I couldn't really pick one. Uh, because I'm not experienced enough, uh, I would say one pocket. But that's a game I still want to get better on, maybe at one point win a, win a championship. It's a game I'm interested in, but at the same time frustrates me the most because you know, it can get really uh, boring, the back and forth. I play pool to make, to make balls. Um, and in straight pool, is, uh, in, 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 in one pocket, it's just so much defense. But at one point, I'm sure when, I, when I'm ready for it, I will dedicate some time to learn the game. Well, you know, we can talk about uh, skills, and uh, I think it's uh, dedication. Um, it is so difficult. You know, pool is such a wonderful sport. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we're not the most organized sport, and it's tricky to make a living and for people to dedicate it and go out there and you know just for the love and try it to uh, to make a living at the same time have have the passion to play pool um, and you can see that also when they're playing not uh, not only like I said Ralph I uh, admire him uh, because he goes out there and he plays tournaments all over the world you can see his dedication you can see it also when when he plays and uh, I think that's what I think. Obviously, unsportsmanship. Uh, I grew up playing, you know, the fair game, and um, I just it just annoys me when people try to pull moves, and um, I just have no respect for that. I'd say um, I'm very inconsistent. I have my highs, I have my lows. Um, I see other players throughout the year or throughout the years, they're more consistent. Uh, I can have a very high gear and win just tournaments with uh, flawless performance and then I have completely breakdowns. And um, I think that's my biggest weakness, is con my consistency could be better. I'd say um, I never give up, whether it's in the game, I'm, I'm down and you know, I still try my best. Or even, like I said, uh, sometimes I have my lows and uh, you know, I, I'll never give up and I, I know that the next tournament uh, will be maybe mine again and I try even harder. I don't really have regrets, there are tournaments that I made big mistakes that cost me a lot, but I think, still think about it, you know, the World Games, missing a seven ball to, to win the gold medal, uh, especially for us Europeans, you know, we, we see the value in winning the World Games, the Americans maybe not so much, but uh, that would have, I still have nightmares about that. Um, if it's a regret, it's just a, you know, a mistake that I made, but I don't really have a regret when it comes to, to pool, maybe, uh, you know, as I'm trying to be a f perfectionist, maybe uh, being more consistent, you know, that could be a, a regret. I would like to be more consistent. 
I would say um, biggest achievement coming from, you know, I was a very introverted person um, when I started playing pool. And I think through pool, I became more, a little bit more of an outgoing person. It might not <laughs> seem to, to most people, but um, even moving to the States, you know, being all by myself and leaving Europe behind and, and, and traveling the world, uh, I'd, see, I'd say that's a big achievement. I can talk about tournament wins, you know, winning the IPT and $350,000 or winning a big straight pool tournament uh, and running hundreds or um, I think the biggest achievement is uh, character-wise is um, that I, 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 I blossomed through pool over the years and I became, you know, more open-minded. Uh, be cool, maybe uh, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't really name a specific player, but maybe back in the days when it was a completely different game. Uh, you know, maybe um, you see these old pictures, and there are 100, 200 people wearing uh, suits watching the game, and it was very classy. And there's a lot of respect for the players in the game. Maybe it would be, would have been cool to be one of those players. I couldn't name one. No, I could say Willie Mosconi because it was. Uh, back in those days, uh, but just to witness the old days would have been, uh, would be something special.